Peace everyone, I'm Maskart here, and today I'm gonna to be doing another Coffee with Friends collaboration with Rose from Safi Rosa. Okay, so before the video gets too far along, I just wanna introduce Rose. So she's from the Netherlands. She has studied communications and multimedia design, and she also has a degree in animation and audio visual design. And she's been working with a graphic tablet for about a decade now, which is a lot longer than I've been working with one. When I came across her channel, I was just immediately in love with it because the colors are just so vibrant and warm and fun and it's it's a bit different than what I do and I noticed that she had both traditional artwork and digital artwork so I thought that it was a perfect opportunity to try out a fully digital piece for the first time. This is going to be the first time that I've ever done a time lapse of a digital piece so I was really excited about doing it. One of the things I almost instantly knew I was going to do was draw myself. I thought it was somewhat of a safe choice for me to do considering my limited experience working digitally. Once I started recording my work, I was I was pretty intimidated with the overwhelming process that I was gonna go through with this piece. I have a lot of experience with Photoshop, but not digital artwork. So it was it was really challenging, and I think that's what I liked so much about it. Once I had all of the inking done for my character, I started thinking about what I was going to do for the background. And what I ended up deciding I was going to do was having pretty much the entire back wall as a window. And then I was gonna make it a nighttime scene with like a city street in the back. As I was working on this big window, I came up with the idea of kind of making it a cafe scene. Throughout the entire painting process, I really no idea how to go about painting this street scene. I knew that I wanted to control the details in it and I didn't want to add too much. I wanted it to be kind of a blurry background but still visually be able to tell what it is. And I played around with it for a very long time trying to get everything to look good. But overall, I had so much fun working with it. It was a huge learning process throughout this entire piece and I was trying to recall all of the tips and techniques that I had learned throughout the years working in Photoshop in order to do this. Once I felt comfortable with what I had for the background, I came up with the idea of making the frame that's on the left side as a neon open sign and it all just kind of came together at that point. So once I started working with that and then got the glow the way that I wanted it and used the colors, I kind of just put the background aside and then I started coloring myself. The way that I went about coloring was I broke down each object onto its own separate layer. So the first initial colors that are going down are just completely random and I only use them to color in each section separately just to have a bit more control when it came to shading and highlighting them so that I didn't have to work within the lines more than one time. I've only ever colored line art in Photoshop a few times in my lifetime because I've never really enjoyed working with a mouse and I've only recently got a tablet so it was a lot of fun and I'll probably do another one in the future at least because of just how much fun it was. I really enjoyed working on this collaboration with Rose. Her side came out so wonderfully and you can you can so clearly see what experience working with digitally gets you when we have a look at our pieces side by side. I definitely have to recommend that you go over to her channel and subscribe and if you're coming from my channel let her know that you're coming from mine because her artwork is just so fun and colorful. Here at the end I finally color in the rest of it and do a little bit of last shading and color correction and just fine-tuning some of the details. So here you have my final side. You can see I added a bit of details into it. Now here is a look at ours side by side. As soon as I got her email that she was complete and I got to see her side, because I had, I had actually finished my side about a week before I got hers, 
when I was looking at it, I couldn't stop smiling because I just loved our pieces together so much. It was just the most ideal outcome that I could have imagined. One of the coolest things is that we both decided to draw ourselves. Neither one of us indicated to the other that our intention was to do a character of ourself. And you can see how hers looks in comparison to mine. As far as digital art, hers is so much more advanced in shading and scene setting and detail and texture. The colors, the lighting and everything Thing just works so well and one of the things that she mentioned was that she put tea stuff all over the place because she doesn't drink coffee at all and the ironic thing about the title of this collaboration is I don't drink coffee at all either anyways I'd like to thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and a special thanks to Rose be sure to check out her channel here and subscribe and watch the video let her know that you came over from my channel and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.